Jean-Baptiste José Fourier was a French mathematician and scientist who engrossed himself in the applied mathematical methods of the study of vibrations and the transfer of heat. He invented what is now known as the Fourier series, which uses sine and cosine waves as a way of representing any periodic function. This led to the development of Fourier's law of heat conduction. During his time, he held many and varied posts. A teacher, a political prisoner, governor of Egypt, prefect of Isère, and finally, secretary of the Académie des Sciences. Fourier was born in the year 1768 to a large and humble family in France. He was the ninth child of his father, a tailor, who died leaving Fourier an orphan at the tender age of nine. Due to his high academic credentials in his early years, he was given financial support to complete his education through the recommendation of the Bishop of Auxerre. He enrolled in the École Royale Militaire, which was under the Benedictine Order of the Covenant of St. Mark. Initially, he had a great interest in literature, but later discovered a greater passion for mathematics. He therefore studied mathematics with great enthusiasm, and is reputed to have collected candle stubs so that he could study late into the night. By the year 1782, he had completed studying the six volumes of Bossut's Cours de Mathématiques. Moreover, in the following year, he was awarded a prize for his completing a study of Bossut's Mécanique en Général. In the year 1787, he decided to join the Benedictine Abbey of saint benoit sur loire to train as a priest. He later discovered that the priesthood was not his calling. Rather, he wanted to be a mathematician and was determined to make his impact on the world through his skill in mathematics. For this reason, as well as the fact that in 1789 the newly formed Constituent Assembly in France forbade it, Fourier did not take his religious vows. Thereafter, Fourier left the abbey and returned to the Benedictine College, École Royale Militaire of Auxerre, where he had earlier studied, to work on his passion in the field of mathematics as an assistant to his teacher, Bonnard. Despite Fourier declining to take the priesthood vows, he was not yet fully settled on whether he should specialize in mathematical research or should concentrate on a religious life. However, three years later, he found yet another calling. He became interested in politics and came into the company of the local revolutionary committee, where in 1793 he wrote, As the natural ideas of equality developed, it was possible to conceive the sublime hope of establishing among us a free government, exempt from kings and priests, and to free from this double yoke the long usurped soil of Europe. I readily became enamored of this cause, in my opinion, the greatest and most beautiful one which any nation has ever undertaken. However, Fourier was disillusioned with the French Revolution and he tried to resign from the committee. This was unsuccessful and he found himself trapped and unable to distance himself from it. He therefore maintained his position in the Revolutionary Committee, simultaneously continuing with his college teaching work. During the period of the Robespierre government, many of Robespierre's opposers were sent to the guillotine. This outraged Fourier, leading him to speak out against the terror he perceived in Orléans, for which he was arrested. However, a group of Jacobin allies arrested Robespierre, and he himself was sent to the guillotine providing Fourier a doorway to freedom.